Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's time for another edition of Victory in Sight. This is God in Action Publications and Ministries in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Reverend Christopher Irvin, founder, CEO, and presider of this organization. Today, I've got a powerful word for you. It's a short word. Today is Sunday. It's Sunday morning. It's rainy in Georgia. But God is good. Today, I want to talk about a subject that's very special to me. And that's our continued walk with the Lord. You see, because as we walk with the Lord, we walk in victory. We walk in triumph. And we continually overcome because we walk with the Lord. If you have your Bibles this morning, I want you to remember Psalms 37, 23. The steps of a good man or woman are ordered by the Lord. And he delighted in his way. I want to repeat that again. The steps of a man or woman are ordered by the Lord. And he delighted in his way. Though he fall down. The scripture goes on to say he is not utterly cast down. We get up. I love that song. We fall down, but we get up. For a saint is just a sinner who fell down and got up. That song is so true. And it's biblical related. And today, my brothers and sisters, if we look around the world and just think about where you and I were one year ago today, one year ago today, this pandemic was in its prime. It was in its prime. Hundreds and thousands of people around the world have died. Our country was on fire with hate and discrimination and division. All this going around, but God was still walking with us. God was still talking with us. God was still guiding us through this storm. He continues to guide us through this storm. The steps of a good man, the steps of a good woman are guided by the Lord if you want God to continue to guide you, if you want God to continue to turn all of your situations around, and I'm a witness that he can and he will, he does it every day. Look at how far he's brought us, new leadership in America. The division is still there, but it's breaking, my brothers and sisters. You can't call yourself a child of God if you hate your brothers and sisters, the Bible says to love thy neighbor as thyself. You can't call yourself a child of God, but many are falling, are following the ungodly. Many are following the ungodly. And in that first, that first book of Psalms, the first chapter, the word clearly says, and I mean clearly, Blessed is the man or woman that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, but his love is in the Lord. It says that they will be planted like a tree by the waters. Do you know that a tree planted by the waters is stronger than other trees? So when the wind 
And the storms come and the winds and the storms do come, my brothers and sisters, and they will continue to come. We will be rooted in the Lord and we will continue to stand. We will continue to be victorious. We will continue to be triumphant. We will continue to overcome. There's a storm in America and there's a storm in the world right now. But blessed is the man and the woman that walks in the counsel, not of the ungodly, but our love is in the Lord. Our steps, my brothers and sisters, are ordered by the Lord. And as long as you continue to lean not toward the ways of the world, but toward the ways of the Lord and his word and his world, he will continue to take you places you never thought you could go. Remember that our steps are ordered by the Lord. They're not ordered by man. And for those who follow man, they will be utterly cast down. Look at Job. Job loved the Lord. He would not curse the Lord. Job fell down, but Job got up and Job got up in triumph. Job got up in victory. Job got up and overcame because he would not separate himself from the love of the Lord. David said it so plainly and so well. He said, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. He didn't say I'd be looking over my shoulder for goodness and mercy. He said it would follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Over this past year, we've been walking in the valley of the shadow of death. We haven't feared this evil for his rod and his staff have comforted us. And they continue to comfort us. It's not over. The hate and the separation, it's not over. This COVID virus, it's not over. It's not over. We must continue to stay focused. We must continue to stay prayed up. We must continue to separate ourselves from his word, turn from it neither to the left nor the right. And if we continue to do that, my brothers and sisters, our steps will continue to be ordered by the Lord. Know that. Claim that. And if you love the Lord, you will keep the victory in sight. We love you. But more importantly, God loves you. Remember that in your walk. Remember that your walk is ordered by the Lord and he delights in guiding you. He delights in lifting you. He delights in giving you the victory. That's the God that we serve. He's more than a strong deliverer. He is God and God all alone. Accept him in your life. Accept him in your life. He will continue to take you places you never thought you'd go. To God be the glory.